Okay. Okay. I think this one looks like an A4, which will be nice for this style of, of work that I'm that I'm hoping to do with this. So this will be a negative positive, I think. It looks like something that would go well. Well, not quite that well, but hopefully we can make it look good. Wondering what sort of background colour we're going to give this one. This one's got lots of shades of grey. I don't know what this one's going to be like. We're going to make it red this time. So we're going to add a lot of red anyway, like we normally do when we're doing these negative positives. Going to drop the hue down to cold. We're not going that cold. I'm wondering, I'm just trying to decide which way to go. We're going to make it warm this time. I'm going to make it a warm hue. So it's going this way and we're just going to do this. We're going to leave the colour balance. We might need to adjust it later for something. So let's see what our original is. It is. It's one of them Chinese lifestyle magazines. Yeah. So it seems very glossy. You get them for free from, from Westfield. Anyway, that's an A4, and that's an A4. Nice. Goody, goody. Goody, goody, goody. So this one's not going to be a mirror image or a moving original. We're just going to make this one a nice, nice colour-wise. We're going to make this look nice in the colour, in the more traditional way. We don't want to do all the same thing all the time. We've got to do a little bit of different stuff every now and then. So let's see how this one looks. See if we've made this one come up a treat. Uh, interesting. Uh, the, red, the red here looks kind of wishy-washy, and I think the hue looks too hot. It looks, she, her face looks like flat. It looks disgusting, actually. The colours look good on the shirt, but not on the face. We've got to do some work on the hue, and I'm just wondering if maybe the colour balance might need to be tweaked as well. So we're just going to go and just work on this one. So we've, I think we've fucked up with the hue. So we're just going to take the hue and we're going to take the hue. We're going to make it rather than make it. Oh, dear, that jumped. That's weird. Photocopiers do funny things with me. I'm just going to take that, leave it like that, and we're going to go and see if we can intuitively tweak the colour balance. Instead of doing it all, all colours at once, we want to be a little bit more, be a little bit different this time. Just mixing the colours up a bit. We'll see if we can make this come up look really nice by not using all the colour balance colours at full blast. We're just selecting some more than the other. Give it a more interesting result, hopefully. We can't just do the same shit all the time. We've got to change it around a bit and see how we go. And let's see if we've done a good job of this. Now that looks a lot better. The red is more red. And the blue, yes, she looks blue, but at least you can see that she's not blending with the with the sign signage and the lips. They just come up quite nicely. So the, the cold hue looks like it's worked well. It's not perfect. I still don't like the background, but the red is more red, and I think this is a much nicer result. This is probably maybe as good as we get. I'm hazarding a guess. So, yeah, I think we can call that quits.